Hey folks, Dr. Mike Isertel here for Renaissance Periodization. At the time of this recording, I just did, and won, a bodybuilding show, which is why the tenor of my skin is a little bit shade different than it was in the last video in this series. So my health is fine, my liver is not dying. Uh, thanks for checking in. Let's get into nutrition myths number nine, biohacking. Oh boy, prepare for extensive eye rolling. As usual, we're gonna talk about the claim. We're gonna talk about reasons why it's wrong. We're gonna talk about some grains of truth because most of these claims have a little bit of a silver lining to bring. And then we're gonna talk about, okay, knowing that all the stuff is the way it is, what are some best practices we can take to actually increase fitness in with a reasonable expectation and not make a ton of mistakes. So here's the deal about biohacking. I'm sure you guys have seen these claims a ton, tons of supplement ads, uh, entire generations of podcasters and fitness, inf uh, fitness influencers essentially sort of brand themselves as biohackers. They have books about biohacking. What is it? It's a claim that you can hack your body systems like you would hack a computer and that you can essentially trick them into doing what you want, right? You can just reprogram your biology. And this isn't my quote. This is like a quote you can Google. You can reprogram your biology and say biohacking and hit search. You'll get like 10 trillion results of people actually saying this. They say you can reprogram your biology somehow. I, I know a little bit of biology. I have no idea how the hell that works, but supposedly you can get your body, trick it into burning more fat, building more muscle, becoming healthier, having lots more energy, you name it, you can hack your way to it. And it's easy and it's quick because it's a trick. That's the big claim. It's effortless, like a shortcut or a cheat code in a video game. All right, when someone says, hey, I got a cheat code for something, you don't exactly anticipate it to be unbelievably hard. You go, oh my God, wow, this is like a magic fix, right? So biohacking has that magic element to it. Now, that's what it is, that's the claim. Why is it wrong? Well, a couple of real good reasons. First of all, your body is not a computer and you don't hack it. Okay, where's the MP3 port, you know? <laughs> it's just not. It is a wildly complex system that does not operate like a computer in many very important ways. Saying that it does is the worst kind of sleazy salesmanship you can imagine. We live at the beginning, at the dawn of the real computer generation and computers are so unbelievably flexible and powerful and they do have so many shortcuts that we analogize them as customers to something that is an incredibly good thing to have. Like, you know, when people say more powerful than a locomotive or a freight train, that analogy is like freight trains are really powerful. I want to be more like a freight train. What if, if this creatine pill says be powerful like a locomotive? That's what I want because locomotives are much more powerful than humans. Computers are much more flexible than humans. They can instantly change their programming to get you a ton of different outputs without a ton of laborious efforts. As a matter of fact, they were invented specifically to remediate the problem of laborious effort and lack of programming. So people are using this computer analogy to try to be like, hey, like, you like things easy, like on computers, right? And like, mm -hmm. you like hackers can get stuff in and quick and change it and make a bunch of money or alter the program to do something else. And you want that, right? You're like, uh huh. And they're like, well, you also want to burn fat, right? And you're like, uh huh. Like, well, your body's a computer and we're going to hack it for you. You're like, I love all the hacking movies. I always wanted to be hacked. This is going to be great. It's going to be effortless. And unfortunately, that's just BS because losing fat and gaining muscle is only done best via understanding of the deep principles behind them. But it's hard work. A better analogy than that of hacking a computer for changing your fitness is like building a working rocket. I know I use the rocket analogy a lot, but it's a pretty decent analogy, I think, and here's why. How do you build a decent, how do you build a working rocket that leaves, or, you know, breaks exit velocity, leaves and goes into space? You have to study engineering textbooks a whole lot and they absolutely greatly enhance the process versus you just trying it yourself. Look, like when rockets were first engineered in the you know 1910s, 20s, 30s, 40s, and they were still trying to figure out the principles, there was no engineering textbook really to figure out there was no principles of rocket design. The textbook didn't exist. They had to do things the hard way. Of course that's crappy. That's the same as in fitness. You know, 1920s, they didn't really know, to, to, should you eat more protein? What about carbs? What should a calorie deficit be magnitude-wise? How long should a diet be? How should you lift weights? A lot of the stuff was mysterious and people had to figure it out themselves. That for sure sucks. 
But instead of hacking our way to the results, what we have is the equivalent in fitness of an engineering textbook. Like you probably can get a textbook called Principles of Rocket Design. It's, it's a tough textbook. You gotta work through that thing. It greatly enhances the process, but nothing replaces hard work, okay? Nobody hacks a fucking rocket into space. It's not a trick. It is a very detailed execution plan. It requires tons of effort, tons of money, times of time. And that investment over time builds a functioning, beautiful thing, like a rocket, and it accomplishes a very specific mission reliably. Just the same way in fitness, what you do is you invest, 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 prepare, plan, execute on the principles, and slowly but surely the results come, and eventually the results are really awesome. But there's no little whoop, little loop trick to get there any faster, and anyone selling it to you is probably just trying to make a shitload of money while lying to you, right? Here's another problem. People that look for tricks and shortcuts almost always fail for two reasons, mainly. One is tricks and shortcuts don't exist. <laughs> so they fail because that's, you know, that little quicker road through the woods leads right into a mountain, okay? But the other one is that the kind of people that really want a shortcut are a self-selected group that is um, a little bit resistant to work. They don't want to put in there. They haven't accepted the fact that they're going to have to grind a little bit. And the people that aren't ready to work probably will fail because they won't put in the work. So biohacking is all the worst combination of trying to sell ineffective things in the worst possible ways to the specific demographic that is most likely to fail at them. That's why it's BS. Now, some grains of truth to the idea behind it and why people get caught up in it. Here's the thing. You definitely want the easiest way to get results. Okay? Nobody's saying you should work harder than needed. Like for example, if you're a runner and there's a running shoe that reduces ankle and knee pain and lets you run the same distances and paces more now because you don't have ankle and knee pain and it's more sustainable and it only costs 50 bucks, no one in the right mind would be like, fuck that bro, you run barefoot. And you're like, but my knees and ankles are killing me. They're like, nah man, you just know, you just don't want work. Like. What? It's like someone who would say, don't buy a lifting belt or weightlifting shoes or straps because then, you know, your deadlift and bent over row will go up too much and your legs will get too big. Like, no, but these are tools that we want to use. But, but Versa grips for a bent row isn't exactly a hack. It's just a principle-based tool. It's not going to instantly make your back bigger with no work. It's going to magnify your ability to work and get you better results. That's the real thing we're looking for, not the hacks, right? But we are trying to do things easier, but realistically easier in a way that can make them better, right? Knowing nuances of biology, for example, knowing ratios of carbs and fat to eat, knowing some nutrient timing, knowing what kind of foods to choose, knowing these nuances can make the results from your intervention more certain. Okay, if you know the principles and the nuances, then you can be like, okay, I need to lose X amount of weight by February. I know exactly how to do that because I know how to track body weight. I know how to manipulate calories. And if you didn't, then you'd be like, yeah, I know what to eat less. I don't know how much. You couldn't be very certain of the result you would achieve. You know, maybe I'll lose 12 pounds, maybe I'll lose 15. So it can make you more certain knowing the nuances. It can make the effect larger in magnitude. Like if you know the nuances and how to really choose foods and choose exercises and make a plan, you can maybe lose 15 pounds instead of 12 right? Which is a good thing. Now notice it's not lose 30 pounds instead of zero like the biohackers would have you believe, but it is a little bit of a benefit. And it, it is another benefit if you know the nuances, some of which the biohackers share every now and again, you can get there easier, just a little bit easier instead of by brute force, okay? So, you know, people will say, sometimes sarcastically, sometimes not in various, usually anonymous social media. Like if you talk about the details of your diet, especially if you're not super ripped and you're like, oh, I'm going to be losing 15 pounds here and I'm doing this and I'm counting my macros and doing meals. People will say things like, just eat less. It's fucking simple. Like, yeah, but if I eat a lot less, then maybe I'm working super hard to get a good result. Maybe I can work not as hard, have more energy, more time for other things in my life and still get the same result. As a matter of fact, I could get a larger magnitude result and it could be more certain. So it absolutely pays. So we're not saying here like there's no way to hack the body at all. There's no nuance. There's no trick. There's no like little corners you can cut. There are little corners you can cut. There aren't big corners you can cut. And that's the main difference, right? Easier, making things easier and slightly more effective is not the same thing as hacking, okay? Fitness is not like hacking a bank account and just getting easy money in your account. Fitness is like opening a bank account 
with reasonable rates, getting a really good job, like that's all you need to know stuff for that, or to just randomly get a good job, and over time, depositing into the bank account and seeing that bank account steadily grow. Look, if you don't know how to get a good job, if you don't know what a good bank account is, and if you don't know how to save money, you're not going to have money at the end of the day after many, many years in just the same way. If you don't know any of the principles of fitness, including the nuances, then you're not going to be fit at the end of whatever, three, six, 12 months. But that is just some marginal tools you can do over time and they add up, add up, add up. It's not a hack. Can you imagine a movie like Ocean's 13 or some shit where they're like, we're going to make tons of money. And they're like, all right, how? Like, we're going to fucking open up a profitable business that provides a valuable good and service. And we're going to invest in it over time and expand and hire marketing people. And then 30 years, we're going to have a multinational corporation. Like, what? That sucks. I wanted the money like tomorrow and like a billion dollars and some car chases in Italy, right? That's what biohacking promises you on the diet side and it's just not real. So don't fall for it. Now, don't fall for biohacking. Where are we leaving? Where are the best practices here? Because we have to give you some advice. And biohacking is bad. But what do I do? First, learn the principles of diet and training. You can do a lot of that learning just watching these YouTube videos. So tune into our channel. There's tons of other great channels. Learn, learn, learn. You can check out our books. There's tons of other great books. Nothing replaces learning as far as knowing the principles. And then all this fitness mystery is not a mystery at all. It's just a matter of I know exactly what I need to do. Now I just have to execute. It's awesome. If you don't want to do all that, it's totally cool. Maybe you don't have the time. Hire someone that can do it for you. Hire a really good coach. Hire, uh, you know, maybe follow a good coach for some tips. Uh, pretend, paying people directly to coach you is probably the best way. Uh, maybe download an app like the RP Diet app, shameless plug, uh -huh. uh, and that tells you what to do. And then it's off your hands. You pay a little bit of money. You pay a lot of bit of money. Either way, you get really great guidance. But something principled, something that gives you this roadmap of, okay, here's how you work. Not like, here's this magic thing and it's going to solve all your problems. That's bullshit. Don't fall for that. Number two, essentially, the analogy here is... All of these fitness resources, be it the coach or be it books or videos, learning the actual lay of the land is basically, if the analogy is hiking, it's going to teach you how to pack your bag. It's going to teach you at what pace to hike, what's too fast, what's too slow, how to make camp and how to navigate your journey. And if you know all that, you're going to get from point A to point B and see some cool stuff. You're going to be great at hiking. Biohacking is like saying there's a helicopter ride or a shortcut to get to the mountain that takes 15 minutes instead of 15 days. That do not fall for because no helicopter is coming. And if you don't know how to hike, you're in, a, you're in a bad way if you're halfway through your hike. So make sure you understand that dietary principles and training principles offer you the best path through difficulty. And you still have to go through difficulty. And anyone that says, look, there's this best path with zero difficulty, it's likely they are BS unless they're like a pharmaceutical company and they finally have a fat loss pill. I'm still waiting for that shit. But until that comes, there's no biohacking yet. Here's another thing. I work for Renaissance Periodization. Here's our YouTube channel. It is a for-profit company. If we had biohacks, don't you think we'd fucking try to sell them to you? Good God. If we had some kind of pill or some kind of like trippy diet that just sliced off body fat, made you super jacked, and it didn't have any side effects, don't you think we'd be pushing that? Why would we be, why would we not, right? And if you have this amazing product, why hasn't it, let's say we didn't discover it, somebody else did. Where the hell is that company? Where the hell are they making everyone fit? Like if a real product works, people adopt it. Like when they invented the washing machine, after a few years, few decades, everyone had one. And someone who was washing their own clothes, can you imagine that? Like you're the, it's the 70s and they're washing their own clothes. People are like, you know, you ever heard of a washing machine? They're like, nah, that's a biohack bullshit claim. Like, no, this shit is real, man. It really works. It's really cheap. It saves you tons of labor. That is a hack, right? So to speak, but it's engineered again. But, you know, it's obvious when that stuff really works. If you see a book, like a New York Times bestseller book by someone that's like, hack your body for unreal fitness, you're like, there's still lots of unfit people around. Like there's almost no one around that doesn't use a washing machine. So it's kind of like either they're selling me tons of BS or maybe like I would just be a first adopter and I'd be one of the new, the only people that get these great results uh, or something's going on. Ah, probably the BS in most cases. So definitely have an open mind. But when you see incredible claims, demand incredible evidence or maybe just don't risk being a first adopter. Be smart, do your best, great results accumulate over your concerted effort over time. 
know what to do, learn all the stuff you can, tune into our channel, execute, prepare to work. Don't work inefficiently, work hard, work smart. Don't hope for a hack. It's on you to get fit. No one's coming to help you except yourself. Folks, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.